Traditionally associated with countries like Nigeria and Togo, the Okada business is now growing in Accra. I come to a shaman to find out why it's growing and why people choose it rather than vehicles like taxis. Local residents said they often preferred using commercial motorbikes because they were far quicker on unpaved roads and in heavy traffic. People also appreciated being brought right up to their front door rather than walking the last leg of their journey home. This one, you, go, you get into straight to your house. It's like, then there, the pickpocket are worrying. So if you pick back from here, you pick straight to your house. But a taxi, when you pick it, you get down and walk. Sometimes you see that people, uh, let's say the cars are not moving fast. So they used to carry people from one place to another that way. Oh, it is sad. But sometimes they use, that's why they let them use to be using a helmet. Okada is illegal in Ghana, but these drivers are undeterred. They say they have the right to make a living and that they are supplying a valuable service to the local population. The motor is happy, it will be happy with for you. Because of here, car matter is worry because of our road too. The car matter, people, they stay there, village, they feel they come, they don't get car to go to the village. That's why you take the motor to help them small, small. People are suffering in transport, which we help them, we took them from Zenu to Ashama. Because people, this would, any money time, they suffer in car. We are begging to the government, make government help, make we, we try to do the job. Legal or illegal, it appears that motorbikes are set to stay in Greater Accra, as the city contends with ever-increasing volumes of traffic. This is Henry Wilkinson reporting for ETV News, Ghana.